what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? One of the four thug cops charged in the cold-blooded murder of George Floyd was accosted by a fellow shopper during a recent supermarket trip, a viral video captured the run-in. J. Alexander Keon, who was recently released on a $750,000 bail on Friday, was caught off guard at Cub Foods as he shopped and tried to stock up on groceries. The woman in the video who was off screen, pushed up on him. She was like, yeah, what's your name? And he was like, yeah, that's me. She said, so you just walking around here all comfortable, like you ain't killed nobody. And he said, well, I wouldn't call it comfortable. And she was like, you know, do you have any remorse? Dude was like, I'm just trying to shop. And she let it be known to him that you will never live comfortable in Minneapolis or anywhere else because of what you did, you devil. Yeah, let him know straight up. Now they were in the Minneapolis suburb of Plymouth. Dude was caught all the way off guard. He had somebody with him, the other guy that was with him jetted. He like took off real fast. And the woman was very aggressive and absolute. I like it. She was not playing any games and she called him out loudly too. She was telling everybody, yeah, this is the one that killed George Floyd. This is the guy that killed George Floyd. Beautiful. That's what needs to happen. That should happen to all of them, fam. They should not be able to murder and live comfortably. They should not be able to just illegally cold-blooded murder people and live comfortably. They need to be, let me tell you something. Not only should they not live comfortably, none of their family members should. Everybody should get it. I mean all of them. You got to make them uncomfortable. Otherwise, what's the incentive? If they can just kill, take off a few days, go on vacation, continue to get paid, the kids continue to go to school, the woman continue to get her nails and hair done on the weekends, Continue to get the nice bag, shoes, have all her needs met. If they can continue to live the lifestyle and also even get rewarded, get promotions, you know, get a GoFundMe account, all kinds of stuff with money, I mean hundreds of thousands, then what is the incentive for them not to kill? They have to be made uncomfortable. Now, I think it's up to the public to decide to what extent they're uncomfortable. What's understood don't have to be said. No more talk. What the talking about? Yeah.